Hey guys, uh, so in this video we're going to be revising equilibrium through a few examples. So as you know, equilibrium is used all the time uh, in pretty much all streams of engineering. It uses the general assumption that for a body to be stationary, all forces and moments must sum to zero. So that's saying that sum of forces in the x direction equals zero, sum of forces in the y direction equals zero, in the z direction equals zero, that's for if it's a 3D problem, and sum of moments about any point is equal to zero. So we'll consider a couple of basic problems that incorporates all of this, as well as some fundamental uh, equations of motion, including these equations here, uh, Newton's laws of motion, which you should have been introduced to previously. So getting on to example one, here we've got a gate uh, it's got a mass of 50 kilograms. We've been asked to find the tension in the cable and the reaction force at the hinge. So this is our cable here. Uh, we've got forces acting on it in both the X and Y directions, and we've been given the dimensions as necessary. So hinges can resist vertical and horizontal uh, forces, but not moments. So the moment at the hinge will be equal to zero. So sum of moments around the hinge is equal to zero. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, so that will equal 30 times L on three. So that's force times distance, which is the definition of a moment. Then we've got 50 times 2L on three. And our direction here is anti-clockwise is positive. So here we had an anti-clockwise moment. Uh, here that was clockwise. Our tension in the cable is positive and we have to remember that there's the mass is not negligible uh, so we have a negative moment imparted by the mass which is 50 times gravity times the distance from the hinge so 50 times 9.81 times L on 2. If we simplify all that we'll get F cable, which we assume to be in tension, 